welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Andaly Portable Ceramic Heater. So the reason why we purchased this Andaly Ceramic Portable Heater is because it was the best selling portable heater on Amazon. And when you need something like a portable heater, you wanna be able to rely on it. And so that's why I went ahead and clicked the best seller. Something that I really like about this is that it is small. It's not gonna take up a lot of room to store the rest of the year when you don't need a portable heater, but it is really going to come in handy this winter. We have the master bedroom in our house. It doesn't retain the heat as well as all the other rooms in the house. So when we turn up our heat in the winter, especially when it gets really cold, it heats up the rest of the house so hot it's kind of uncomfortable where even though the master bedroom is warm. So I am hoping to be able to use this in the master bedroom in the cold of winter so that we don't have to heat up all the rest of our house at the same time. Another thing that I really like about this model is that it has all the safety features that are important to me, having kids running around the house. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that, but let's get it opened up. All right. I love that this is so nice and small. Let's take it out of the bag. All right, so this just comes with the product and the user manual, pretty straightforward. I really like that these are so easy to use because in a pinch when you pull it out, you don't have to relearn how to use it every year. So what we see right on the top, it just has the little dial that you can select what you wanna use it for, how much heat you want it to put out here, and then you can adjust the temperature here all the way around, so just depending on what you're needing it for. And then here on the back, it also has a handle, so it's really easy to pick up and move or to carry, which is kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so we can talk about some of the safety features and see how it works. I don't know if you can see, but this is how long the cord is. I really like that it's not super short. When you have something like a space heater, it's really important to not have them right next to the wall or right next to curtains. So I like that this gives me about, I would say about five feet, five and a half feet of cord, which is really nice. All right, so I just plugged it in here. This is just on the fan setting and I'm gonna turn it on the low heat setting first. And this is set at the medium heat. So I can feel the fan and I can feel the heat starting to warm up here. So I will say that sometimes these space heaters, they keep the fan going for a little while before the heat actually starts to disperse and I can already feel the heat, which is really quick. Um, I like that this has a red indicator light showing that it is on and working. I do want to mention the safety features. There is an anti-tip feature, so you can see if I tip this, it's going to trigger this thing down here that's going to automatically turn it off, which is great if you accidentally bump it and it gets tipped over, or if a kid trips on the cord and it tips over, it's not going to catch anything on fire. It's not going to get anything super hot, but then when I tip it right the way it's supposed to be, it turns right back on, so that's really nice. Another safety feature this has is it has an internal thermometer. So when it reaches a certain temperature, I believe it's 167 degrees, um, it automatically turns off. And I, I really like that because if you're not paying attention and it gets too hot, that could be unsafe. So I do really like that. I'm gonna turn it on the high setting so you can kind of hear how loud it would be on the highest setting. So I still don't feel like that's very loud. It's definitely, I can feel the heat and I only have it on the halfway mark. I will say that I have reviewed some other portable space heaters and they were a little bit larger than this one, but I feel like the heat output is the same, which is really nice. Just for reference, our master bedroom is somewhere between two and 300 square feet, which is a larger amount of space than is recommended for this size of a space heater but we aren't wanting to heat up that with just the space heater alone. It does have some heat in the room. We're just wanting to kind of supplement that heat. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug this in in the master bedroom and see how many minutes it takes to heat up. So as you can see, our bedroom has a lot of windows and I know that that's where a lot of our heat is escaping because these are older windows in this house. That is why I feel like this heater is really going to come in handy. I will say that I'm sitting about four feet away from this space heater right now and I can feel the heat all the way from my feet all the way up to my head. So it's dispersing the heat really nicely already. Okay, so this is just for reference. I feel like this is perfect for what I need it for. I'm standing about 10 feet away from this small space heater and I can feel the warm air hitting me. So I will say that I do have it on the lower setting because at night I'm typically not gonna have it on the high setting, cranking out as much heat as I can. I just kinda wanna have a slow flow of heat and I feel like this is gonna be so perfect for what I need it for this winter with the weather cooling down. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check it out yourself. 
If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.